Good afternoon, oil traders. It is Friday, July 28th at quarter after three. We've got 45 minutes left in trading this afternoon here on the East Coast of North America. And we are at the highs of the day and still trying to push higher. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm really impressed with the bears, uh, excuse me, with the bulls. Uh, me and the bears are hurting. <laughs> this sucks for us, but uh, yeah, this is quite remarkable. I did, I never expected to see these prices um, so soon. Um, definitely interesting to watch. Um, I, uh, like I said this morning, my target was above 49.50, um, and I set my order for 49.66. Um, it just happened that way, and uh, stuck to it. And that's where I bought additionally to uh, add it to my shorts. So uh, that's where I bought, and we initially got as high as. 49.77 um, ultimately pushed to 49.80 and then revisited that level just a few minutes ago and as you can see we're stuck just pennies off the high right now um, this still looks very bullish obviously um, the fact that you know heading into Friday close we're still hanging around the very top of the day's trading I mean we're right now we're at the very very high of the day um, any second we could be at 50 um, wouldn't surprise me at all and if we don't hit there today before closing then it certainly looks likely that we're going to get there um, tomorrow uh, excuse me on uh, Monday after the weekend uh, that being said I'm gonna stick with my gut and stay with my shorts uh, it's hurting and it's gonna hurt more if we keep going up but that's my strategy um, I'm only invested about 50% of my portfolio right now um, and most of that, of course, is in the shorts. So it's going to hurt for a little while uh, longer before it turns, but it eventually does turn, or at least that's what I've seen in my experience. And betting long right now, I would be wary simply because this is a high that I didn't expect. If we zoom out to look at the chart here, you can see that, you know, just above 50. We might see that. I don't expect us to be able to make that much higher, but I've said that before and been wrong before. Um, if we, my uh, long, as you know, is at 52, which we just touched back in uh, May, end of May. It's possible that we get that high. Uh, at least that would give me an out from my long. And uh, certainly that would help my average costs on my shorts. So. It's all it's all good <laughs> but uh, really I think 50 is going to be our top that's that's my feeling and I'm betting accordingly let's see here uh, in the past I've seen it reverse course too many times and it's been just too dramatic so if you bet long at this price here uh, keep in mind that I am long even higher than this I think that it might be a very long time before we revisit these levels. Um, so I'm just not prepared to add to my long position. I'm already in long and at these prices I'm happy with my long position as it is. I'm not prepared to sell it because we may very well go higher, but I'm not prepared to add to it. Uh, that's been my strategy for the past uh, six months or so. It's served me well and I'm going to stick to it for better or worse, but certainly looks uh, bleak right now. Um, I'd love to hear how you guys are playing this. Uh, most people, I would assume, are playing this as a momentum, momentum play and kind of following with the bulls and trying to cash in on that momentum. Um, it's certainly been a more successful strategy this past week as we've moved up from just above 45 or 45 and a half all the way to 50. I mean, if you manage to hang on for that long, wow, that's a nice, nice piece of change there. Uh, but let me know how you guys did this week and what you're thinking for the week ahead. Uh, hit me up down below on uh, YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned on my trades. Give us a thumbs up and I'll touch base with you guys over the weekend to do a summary of the past week as well as on Monday morning at 9.30 or just before markets open here on the East Coast in North America. Until then, have a great weekend. Cheers.